from Truck Fest 2023. I'm stood with um, Anthony Bins with an absolute stunning XF. Anthony, you better just tell us the story of this one, mate. So this one's a 2018 6.2 rear tag. We bought it new from Brian Curry at Milton Keynes. Had it about a year and then sent it to have paint work done, which we had all the murals of granddad's and dad's old trucks on right. it. Just tell us a little, little bit more about the history of the truck, because I mean, it's a special thing, it's six by four unit. I bought it new to go on a low loader, basically. Right. Have a bit more overhang over the front. Yeah. It's just something special, I don't really, yeah. I expect things a bit different yeah. to most people, as you've probably gathered. It's done a fair bit of work now. I don't plan to use it much yeah. more. And obviously, look at this. It's absolutely stunning outlook. Just, yeah. So it's, it's all the family heritage, and you better talk us yeah, through so, it top to bottom. Yeah, so at the top we've got Dad's old dafts from when he was sort of 18 to 21, probably. Um, got the Transcon that he's still got now. That's in bits being repaired and refurbished and modified a, a lot. People see that maybe in the next couple yeah, of years, yeah. we'll see. The 3600 we've still got, that was my granddad's. He bought that from Robin Lil Borthwick in Scotland. Right. Ran it for years and then uh, my dad bought it when he was in trading trucks. Yeah, yeah. He bought it and then sold it to somebody else. Um, shows on the road, a company yeah. did exhibitions. They then sold it back to my dad. He then, I believe, sold it once more and then bought it back again. So then he's ended up with it again. Yeah. Um, and that's in part refurbishment stages as well now. The old DAFs, the MAN, Scania's, my bedded rascal from when I was 12, which yeah. I've replaced now last year. Use all the parts off of that one yeah. for another one. And obviously we've got the other side we'll talk about in yeah. a minute. What have you actually done to it? So the vehicle came to you guys. You've obviously, you've told us about the sort of customization, the airbrush. Yeah. So what else have you had done to it? We've had a full interior done in Holland. Right. Uh, that was done a couple of years ago. We had stacks on it and everything else was just painted originally, chassis, just normal fuel tanks, everything was original. Yeah. Two years ago, I sent it over to Holland again. Um, we had it, all the stacks taken off, had new stacks, locker boxes, uh, water tank at the top to feed it so you've got to wash yeah, on the yeah. side. Uh, side skirts, infill, low fifth wheel rather than having a higher one yeah. for the European stuff. A full customization basically yeah, yeah. from front to back yeah. uh, the second time around. And then we got on so at the top we've got my granddad's 95 uh, 400. Yeah. He had five of those originally. I've got one of those basically to replicate that one as well in the in the shed. Yeah. We've got the two Mercedes vans that dad started with. Yeah. Uh, Mercedes 814, seven and a half tonner and a couple of caddy vans he had, there's one of them yeah. on there. The 3600 is when my granddad had it on this side. Yeah. And then on the uh, the last one is the Scania 143 450. Dad had two of those at 18, had them all customised. First one to have side skirts, things like that. But I've actually just bought one of those back. The actual lorry I bought back to have um, fully refurbed into the state that he had it when he was 18. I've got all the original side skirts, catwalk, infill, yeah. uh, wing infills, everything for it. It means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of show fleet stuff that I don't you know don't really use yeah. they, they are parked up do in the you, shed and they'll be refurbished. I mean obviously we've got we've got a great display of vehicles and it's yeah. a business but it's a hobby as well isn't it? Yeah of course yeah it's always been the family like granddad had them granddad died like many years ago but then dad I work for dad we've always been into trucks I, out of all the children I'm the only one really that's that's been stayed with the truck industry I literally work seven days a week. Yeah. There's no getting away from me. You know, you've got your own stamp. You must be immensely proud of it. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's only when you come to places like gear. this. Yeah. Yeah. You come to places like this. We came in convoy yesterday. We've got 16 tracks, units, three trailers, RV, yeah, yeah. the food van. Like, we, People we do it. Out, yeah. yeah, it's great. The kids love it. Anyone can sit in any trucks I've got. We're no different, no better than anyone else. Yeah. It's literally someone wants to get in it. It's, an, it's a nice to train, to you, but I think people know. forget it. It's, it's a people industry, isn't it? You know, oh, a lot of fine, these yeah. businesses, you, you know, you're a case in point. Yeah. It's a family business. Yeah. You know what you say? So you'll be third generation now. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you know, and how many stories like that? that oh, there's lots of them. And yeah. you know, th there's no lack of enthusiasm. It doesn't, it doesn't pay off. In fact, it's going the other way. <laughs> right, on, right, on, right on cue for truck. Yeah, exactly. Hey, listen, yeah. Anthony, that's brilliant. I can't thank you for doing it. Have a good rest of the show. Thank you very much. Cheers.